movie theaters in Los Angeles, the beating heart of America's movie industry, are opening for business this weekend, and the return of the box office couldn't come soon enough. Ticket sales across the US and Canada have fallen off a cliff, plunging to $2.2 billion in 2020, down a dramatic 80% from the year before, with screens darkened and major film releases postponed. The industry is hoping to make a comeback in 2021. New York City, which accounts for 7% of the nation's ticket sales in an average year, opened its theaters at limited capacity last weekend. San Francisco, 4%, cranked up the popcorn machines in early March. Now Los Angeles, the most important movie market in the country, is up and running at 25% capacity. Los Angeles moment represents a milestone for an industry that has been battered by the pandemic, bringing major exhibitors like AMC Theatres and Cinemark across the threshold of 90% or more of locations open. Exhibitors are counting on the accelerating pace of COVID-19 vaccinations to drive down the infection rate, making moviegoers more comfortable venturing out, while easing state-imposed seating limits. They're looking to China, the first country to deal with the coronavirus outbreak, as a bellwether. Theaters there set a box office record of $775 million for the Lunar New Year holiday weekend, despite restrictions on theater capacity. The thought is there's going to be a lot of pent-up demand and consumers want to get back into the theaters, said Eric Wold, an analyst with B. Riley. I'm optimistic that we get people out there, if you do it in a safe manner, you start lifting capacity restrictions. As the exhibition market cratered in March 2020, its primary suppliers, the major movie studios, poured on the salt. Studios repeatedly delayed the theatrical releases of such hotly anticipated films as F9, the latest installment in the Fast and Furious franchise, and No Time to Die, a film that marks Daniel Craig's final appearance as the British secret agent 007. Wary moviegoers simply stayed home. The booming streaming business, which surpassed a record 1 billion subscribers worldwide, only heightened the competition. Studios like Disney and Warner Brothers diverted new films, like Hamilton and Wonder Woman 1984, to their nascent subscription services in a bid to stoke subscriptions. Universal Pictures seized the opportunity to renegotiate release terms, shortening the exclusive period of a film's theatrical run. The past year has presented AMC with the most challenging market conditions in the 100-year history of the company, AMC Theatres CEO Adam Aaron said in reporting the company's year-end results. Challenging is an understatement. The nation's largest theatre chain, AMC, reported a staggering $4.59 billion loss last year and at one point appeared to be teetering perilously close to bankruptcy. It raised $2 billion in capital to weather the lockdown restrictions, and won concessions from its landlords.